Woodstock Fruit Festival, we'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. Got some ripe bananas here. Slammed in for me. Okay, today's question. I wanted to ask you, can you make a video showing how you store your fruits? What do you recommend if I want to build big muscles on this lifestyle? By the way, I've been on a high carb raw vegan way since March 29, 2012. Awesome. I'm loving it. I'm also a bike rider. I'm planning to attend a fruit festival by bicycle. Awesome. Woodstock Fruit Festival. Gonna be a, I wasn't sure about this banana. No, it's fine. Woodstock Fruit Festival. Gonna be an epic festival. Woodstockfruitfestival.com. Anyway, so this question is, oh, I'm just a bit cold. Just got out of the, got out of the surf. Storing fruits. I've done a few videos on that one. Doesn't really matter too much. I think having fruit out of the refrigerator is better. Let them ripen up naturally in the warmth. If you live in a cold climate, then make a warm place. Put blanket over the fruit. Sleep with your fruit, whatever. Anyway, so what do you recommend if you want to build big muscles? To build big muscles, it's all about training specific. You've got to train specific. For example, I'm a runner cyclist, yeah? So I train like a runner cyclist. I stay away from heavy weights because I put on muscle very quickly and to run fast and have big muscles is like, <laughs> for example, half an hour ago, I just won my last 5K race. I've won seven out of seven 5K races I've entered recently here in the Gold Coast, Australia. So for the last seven weeks in a row, literally, I've won every single 5K race. Bang, 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 during Rider for the win. 5K races, I've won them. Seven out of seven here on the Gold Coast in the last seven weeks. And it's not exactly like there's no one here. Gold Coast is fitness capital of Australia. There's more triathletes here, there's more runners. You go out, there's people everywhere. So I've won seven out of seven. The vegan, 11 years vegan, won seven out of seven running races at the Park Run. Look up parkrun.com. Join your local Park Run. Awesome community event. Definitely going to do it. Anyway, you've got to train specific. If you want big muscles, you have to live. You have to lift heavy weights, yeah? You have to lift heavy weights, man. <laughs> so this person's is, is I applaud them. They're on the healthy lifestyle. They're getting the health and fitness. Awesome. Fantastic. And we want to train specific. So what do we want? You can't have both. You can't be a fast bike rider and have big muscles. You can't. It's impossible. Same with running. You can't be a fast runner and have big muscles. Even if you're a sprinter, if you look at, say, the world record holder for 100 meter sprint is Usain Bolt, yeah? His body mass index is about 22, which is borderline underweight in today's society. So, you've got to, so we've got to be specific what we want. Do you want to be fast or do you want to be big? You can't have both. You can't have both. It's one or the other. So when someone wants to cycle across the US or get into cycling or ride their bikes up mountains and they want to do big muscles, it's counterintuitive. It's counterintuitive. I've got friends who used to be full-on bodybuilders. They get into cycling and they just... They slim right up. Why? Because cycling does that to you. Cardio does it. If you want to get slim, do cardio. If you want to get big, heavy weights. So it's all about training. So it's training specific to your event. It's training specific to your goal. If you want to look like a 13-year-old calisthenics girl, then do calisthenics. Do push-ups and things like that. If you want to have big muscles, don't waste time in the playground, okay? <laughs> Then people say, no, Harley, people build big muscles in the playground. What about like, that Hannibal guy? Those guys are in the fucking gym lifting heavy weights, and then they go into the playground and do all their gymnastic stuff. Yeah? They, they don't build, you can't build big muscles in a fucking playground, man. Playgrounds for kids, and playgrounds for making sort of cool YouTube videos or whatever. But you're not going to build big muscles doing pull-ups and chin-ups and push-ups. You'll tone up and you'll, you know, have a bit of basic strength. I do push-ups, man. Push-ups don't give you big fucking muscles. Heavy fucking weights give you big muscles. Heavy bench press. Double your body weight gives you big muscles. <coughs> Two, three. what you want to do you want to train specific so training for an endurance athlete but wanting to have the bodybuilder physique it's like going to china to learn how to speak spanish 
You know, we want to go to Spain to learn to speak Spanish, go to China, learn to speak Chinese. It's, it's like going to Antarctic to eat durian. <laughs> you got to go to Thailand and Malaysia. If you want to see penguins, don't go to Thailand, go to Antarctica. Train specific, have your goal. What do you want to look like? What do you want to perform well at? Me, it's running, it's cycling. So I train with the best runners, the best cyclists in Australia. Wherever I am, I always look for the best group, the fastest group, train with them, maximum twice a week, do the speed work with them, do the heavy gym session with those people if you want to get bigger, train with the strongest, fittest, fastest people on the planet, and do that with maximum twice a week. If you're a newbie, once a week, train with the people who are fitter than you, they'll push you, and avoid getting the burnout. We'll do more videos about training harder versus smarter, but maximum twice a week intensity, no more than twice a week intensity. Yeah, that's just the secret. No more than twice a week intensity. I'm, I, and when I'm talking intensity, I'm talking intensity where you're about to blow up. That's intensity. No more than twice a week. So all those insanity programs and P90X, that's just fucking burnout. Get that crap, chuck it in the recycling bin. Don't do that fad, gimmicky, overtraining for 90 day bullshit. Get that out of your life. Train specific, train smarter versus harder. Don't lift heavy weights if you want to be a fast runner. Don't be doing fast running if you want to have big muscles. Train specific to your goals, to your events, to your preferences, and that's it. And I applaud anybody who takes on this lifestyle of health and fitness. Because I'll tell you what, man, there's not many fit people out in society. There's not many healthy people in society. I'm winning seven out of seven running races, and I'm running maybe... Well, actually, in the last two weeks, I had a bit of a rib injury. So I'm winning races even with a rib injury. That's how poor the fitness level in society is. The vegan for 11 years is cleaning up the running races. So train specific. that's why I can be so good at what I'm doing is because I train specific. You won't see me in the gym lifting heavy weights and clanking around heavy bench press because if I did that, I wouldn't be such a good cyclist, such a good runner. I wouldn't, I've won seven out of seven of the running races I've just done. Seven out of seven. Doing right across the line first. Just saying. So post your comments and questions down below and, and link to someone's blog who has massive muscles and massive cardio. And I'll tell you what, that's not possible. Impossible to have big muscles and big cardio. It's got to be one or the other. That's just how it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to post your comments and questions down below. Like, share, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Peace. Have a good day. I'm off to breakfast. Thanks.